Have you ever seen a bicycle wheel before or maybe even a tire? The first thing you'd notice is the shape. Bicycle wheels and tires are all circular in shape and the word cycle is derived from the word circle. Why are we talking about cycles today? We are talking about cycles because many cycles are important to life. The cycle we are referring to today is a repeated sequence of events. Cycles just like circles have no beginning or end. Can you tell where a circle starts or where it ends? Cycles are used to describe continuous series of events that do not end, and the nitrogen cycle is one of them. The nitrogen cycle describes the series of events through which nitrogen is made available to plants from the atmosphere. Everyone knows that nitrogen is a gas present in a large quantity in the atmosphere. However, nitrogen gas as it is in the atmosphere is useless to plants. It needs to undergo a series of reactions through which it is fixed into the soil and made usable by the plants. The nitrogen cycle does not stop there though. It also describes the process by which nitrogen is returned to the atmosphere. So this means the nitrogen cycle is nature's way of regulating the amount of nitrogen in both the soil and the air. In the nitrogen cycle, we'll be looking at the ways by which nitrogen is added to the soil. We'll also be looking at the ways by which nitrogen is lost from the soil to the atmosphere and finally, the processes by which organic matter is converted to nitrate. Nitrogen can be added to the soil through direct fixation during rainfall. It can also be incorporated into the soil by free-living bacteria or non-symbiotic bacteria. Nitrogen is also added to the soil through application of nitrogen fertilizers, decomposition of organic matter, and modification and nitrification. In today's lesson, we've looked at one of the sides of the balance, which is the way by which nitrogen is added to the soil. Before we go, we mentioned earlier that nitrogen gas as it is from the atmosphere is useless in the soil. It has to be converted to usable forms in the soil. There are certain processes that lead to the formation of nitrate from organic matter in the nitrogen cycle. Petrification is one of them. Petrification is the decay of plant and animal remains into nitrogenous compounds by microorganisms. Ammonification and nitrification also lead to the formation of nitrates in the soil. In our next lesson, we want to look at the way by which the soil loses nitrogen to the atmosphere. See you then.